the No Face channel? Checking in. And should you utilize squat wedges when you squat? I'm hopefully gonna help you answer that question and dive into the topic in general. But before we even get started, I need to know from you because I'm always curious how people are lifting in their home gyms. Are you using squat wedges or even a specific squat shoe with the lifted heel when you are training? Comment down below. Now, this is your first time to the channel. Give this video a like, hit that red subscribe button. On this series, we tackle home gym topics and I typically review pieces of home gym equipment to help you decide if it's right for your home gym, if it will exceed your expectation and if it's worth your hard earned money. And today I've got the 1211 squat wedges, American made steel, twisted steel and sex appeal. It's made in America, what more to love. I will tell you for the longest time I have been using makeshift squat wedges in my home gym. And when I say makeshift, I literally mean a two and a half pound plate under each foot. And once in a while, I will throw a 10 pound plate under each foot in order to lift my heel up. Four key reasons to utilize squat wedges or even squat shoes. Number one is a full range of motion, making sure you're getting a full depth on your squat. We all know people out there that when they squat, man, they got some high squats. They're not even coming close to parallel. But beyond that, if you've got um, bad flexibility, if you've got tight hip, hip, tight hip flexors, if you're tall and you have long levers, some of you just are not getting to the depth that you're looking for, whether that's parallel or even below parallel. And by utilizing squat wedges, you're gonna find, at least I do, it's so much easier and it feels so much more comfortable to sink into that hole and get that spot that you're looking for. The next reason that you would want to utilize squat wedges is the fact that you can take a lot of stress off of your lower back. I have a herniated disc. Many people out there, unfortunately, have herniated discs and don't even know it because oftentimes when your discs are herniated, you don't realize it until the nerve flares up and you can't fix a herniated disc, you just reduce the swelling. So for me with the herniated discs, I'm always looking to prevent back injury. I'm always looking to take stress off of my lower back. And frankly, the hardest day on my back, at least with regards to my vertebrae, is leg day. You would think it's back day, but it's leg day when I've got all that load on my shoulders and I'm doing those crazy multi-jointed exercises that are just putting a lot of strain on the center of my body and especially on my lower back. Number three is that it allows you to have a straighter back when you squat. We've all seen videos on social media and we, we probably know some people that when they squat, they turn into those old style flip phones. Their chest goes right down to their knees and they, their body just kind of crumbles and it looks horrible, but they end up ma managing the rep and they think they're doing it perfectly. I will say with squat wedges, you tend to have a much more um, upright back when you're squatting. And again, that does tend to lead, at least for me, with a lot less stress on my lower back, which is what I'm looking for. Because when I squat, I don't want to get a, give a, get a back workout. When I squat, I want to get a leg workout. And that leads us to reason number four. When you utilize squat wedges, you are targeting more quads. Every time I utilize these squat wedges, man, I feel it in the front of my quads. And that's perfect for me because in a home gym, at least for me, I can hit hamstrings for days. There's tons of exercises that really destroy hamstrings, at least down here in my home gym. There's very few that allow me to hit that front quad when I'm training. 1211 Fitness started in 2019, a small American business utilizing American materials. You can't ask for better than that. I'll put their website in the description. These come in at just under $70 give or take a no fate 24 seven coupon code. As far as the maximum height, it's two inches plus five eighths of an inch. And as far as the incline, it is a 17 degree incline. But if you're looking for a shallower incline, if you don't wanna maximize all 17 degrees, you simply just move your foot further down the ramp. As far as this product, it does come with hardware in order to hang this on the wall so that when you're not using them, you can easily store them out of sight, out of mind. I will say up to this point, 
For over a year, I have been squatting with makeshift squat wedges. Now, what do I mean by makeshift? I've just basically been placing a two and a half pound plate and sometimes a 10 pound plate underneath my feet when I squat to mimic an actual squat wedge. And frankly, it does get the job done, but it's not nearly as nice. I've been using these for over a month and I absolutely love them. I'm actually mad it took me so long to pick these things up. They're very, very convenient and comfortable. There's no give. One of the nice things about this, this material versus this metal squat wedge versus say a rubber squat wedge, which they do sell on Amazon, uh, is that there's absolutely no give. There's nothing to deform. These things are absolutely solid. And the surface is nice and rough. So once you get your foot on here, it's not going anywhere, which of course, when you got that heavy weight is something that you should be concerned about. Oftentimes with the plates that I was sliding underneath my feet, I was a little bit hesitant because they were a little more smooth than I wish they were. One of the benefits, at least in my opinion, of getting squat wedges versus a single squat bar is the fact that you can adjust these as you want them. So if you want to go wider, you can, or if you want them to get nice and narrow, you can. Oftentimes with the bar, not only are you limited to the width of that bar, it's gonna be a lot harder to store than these squat wedges. Now, should you get squat shoes? And that's entirely up to you. I personally like to lift in my flat footed shoes and I don't like to have different shoes for different exercises. I just wanna put my shoes on and go. And these squat wedges allow me to do that. Now, as far as squatting, I don't just squat in these. I'll do my safe, my squat safety bar squats with them. I'll do my front squats with these. And oftentimes I will incorporate these into my hex bar deadlifts as well. Very versatile piece of equipment. And again, sometimes with regards to um, home gym equipment, it's all about what you're gonna use and making sure that you're able to target the muscles that you're looking to target. For me on leg day, it's very, very hard for me to target my quads and not absolutely destroy my back in the process. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union, where I give you my final thoughts on whether you should be squatting with squat wedges and these 1211 fitness squat wedges. Are they worth it? Number one, I highly recommend that you utilize squat wedges if you have a problem hitting depth on your squats if you're tall or if you're just like me and you have a lot of back pain and you still want to hit those squats. I think oftentimes in the home gym environment, it's really about focusing on hitting that muscle. And for me, squat wedges are the way to do it. Should you utilize specific squat wedges, I would say they're going to benefit you more than trying to slide a plate underneath your foot and they're going to add a whole lot more safety. Should you have a specific squat shoe? That's entirely up to you. I would say if you're going to be in the CrossFit Games, then maybe, or if you're going to a local gym, then maybe you have squat shoes so you don't have to lug these things around. However, for me, I actually don't want to have squat shoes. I don't want to have a different shoe for every different exercise. I want to slap on my shoes and I want to get to work. And when I squat or hex bar deadlift or I'm doing front squats, I bust these bad boys out. And then when I'm not, they just go nice and easily away. At $70 plus my coupon code, are they worth it? Hell yeah. There's no give on here, unlike like a rubber or a plastic wedge, there's gonna be no give. So if you're going super heavy, it's not going anywhere. Also, there's nothing to go bad on it. It's twisted steel and sex appeal. It's American made. There's nothing to go bad on it. And one of the nice things, again, when you do invest that money in a home gym, unlike say a night out at the bar, you're gonna have this forever. And the night out at the bar, you probably won't even have those memories if you're drinking a little too much. Hopefully you found today's video informative. Comment below, how do you squat? Are you squatting with squat wedges? Are you squatting with squat shoes? Are you raw dogging it in your socks at a local gym? I'm always curious, I wanna know. Comment down below. If you came this far in the video, then you and I are officially Band of Brothers. YouTube hates people who check out of videos early. 
And so do I. We're officially best friends. You know how it is. You made it this far. We're buddies. You already hit that subscribe button. You already gave the video a like. The only thing left for you to do is save nothing for the trip back.